you know, like a lot of people, I suppose, volleyball changed my life. Uh, I started playing volleyball when I was 14 at school. And growing up here in Northern Ireland, I, I grew up in a in a, a pretty sort of rough area. And we were lucky that we had a, a school teacher there who took an interest in his after school as well. And he started a volleyball club. And through that, it got me out of the sort of situation, I suppose, we were all in then when we were that age, where everything we knew was based around the troubles here. And through volleyball, we were able to expand our horizons a wee bit, go and play other teams in different parts of the country that showed us that people really weren't all that they were being painted out to be. Uh, that a lot of them were just like us. We got to meet, you know, people who were in the police and all sorts of stuff that just would not have happened in the area that I grew up in. Um, so I will always look at volleyball as something that, that, that took me on a completely different path. I was actually laughing at a guy I've known for years. Um, in fact, he played for Pepperdine University back in the 80s from here. And where I grew up, I, I grew up in an area where the, the police and the army weren't allowed to go into that area. And he was a policeman. And I can say it now, you know, but back then uh, we, we couldn't talk to each other. He couldn't be seen to be talking to me and I couldn't be seen to be talking to him. So if I was ever walking down the street in town and uh, he was walking towards me in his uniform, he would pretend to be questioning me and take out his notebook. And uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd be stopped there with him and some soldiers and, and he'd be saying, so Jerry, you heading up to training on Saturday? Yeah, right, okay. And, and we'd just be chatting about training and what we were going to be doing. And this was all just a guise, you know, because you, you couldn't have been seen to be talking to each other.